Hey guys, what is going on? This is Amstar bringing you some, well, I guess my way for three kill confirmed, you know. i just been putting this uh, video together because I haven't been very active on TG and, uh, and FPS and that is about to change because I've been motivated, as you can say. I've been, uh, I made a video with zombies with my friend Cucumber Slice. That should be up. If it isn't, then I'm having a sad face right now. But what I want to talk about with this commentary, well, before I actually start that, guys, I want to tell you this this gameplay is not the best of all because I'll tell you why. Because I took a month or maybe two months of a break from Call of Duty because my Xbox broke. And I wanted to actually to see how I would do with Kill Confirmed and whatnot. And this is my first match as I come back to playing My Warfare 3. And this is what happens. So I mean, it's not the greatest, but it is pretty darn good. All right, the topics I want to talk about is when COD gets boring, and this is any kind of Call of Duty. When COD gets boring, and other games to play, and when you know when you lost your skill, <laughs> and taking long breaks, the cons and pros, and how to get back into playing the game when you actually come back. All right. So the first topic is. Topic, excuse me, when the first topic is when COD gets boring. You know what, when... Well, to me, when COD gets boring is when nobody actually wants to play with you and you have no friends to actually play with and everybody's just doing their own thing anymore. It's not fun just going lone wolf, you know? It's not fun. So, I guess if you don't want this game to become boring, make some friends, make some best internet buddies or whatever you want to call them. Xbox Live buddies, whatever. Just don't get boring to avoid this. <laughs> when you do get bored of Call of Duty, just take it out, put it in its case, put it on the shelf, and just relax. Go play some Skyrim. Actually, my friend, his name is Eric Slays, he's probably the biggest Call of Duty kid ever. And I was like, he was like, I'm getting so bored of this game, right? So I was like, dude, just go take a break, go play Skyrim or like Mass Effect or some game like that. Or Saints Row. So he did too. He took a break and he came back on Mario for three and he was just better than he was before because he was as, he was bored with what he was doing so he wasn't at his full potential of what he could be doing. And taking a break actually does help. And that's actually the other topic I'll be getting into, but like I said, other games to play when you're bored, just put it away. Just go play Skyrim or something or Mass Effect. Mass Effect's gonna be coming out pretty soon, so that's a game to be looking out for. When you know you lost your skill when you come back, and this is for me, sometimes when I take breaks, is I go negative 12. Like, I lose my rapid fire with my fingers. It's it's not pretty. It's not pretty at all. And I lose my sensitivity. I got to turn that down because I'm usually at 8, so I got to turn it down to like 5 or something. Like, the other day I was playing zombies with my friend, and... I haven't played zombies in so long when this game came out and I don't know what it, it was just a long time when I was playing zombies and me and me and him are really really good at zombies so we can make it to like level 30 without a problem well sometimes a problem if you don't get lucky with the guns but that's besides the point so like I was saying like if you don't play it constantly you're going to lose some skill so don't get frustrated when you lose skill and just rage quit like I do just start up a leave game you know just don't do that. Stick with it. Just when you die, don't try to rage. But you know it's tempting to rage. I I actually broke my remote the other day. Um, I can't sprint. The sprint button won't work, so I gotta get another remote. Taking long breaks, cons and pros. The con of this is actually to get out there, try different video games, or to actually, in a sense, quote, get a life. I know all you have lives out there. I'm not saying that you don't have a life, so don't be hating on me, please. And some, like, pros are what about it. Like, you can actually go get some exercise. Go have a social life. Go hang out with your girlfriend or hang out with your friends or hang out with the girls. Whatever you want to do, just go have a social life and go focus on school more or something. That's what I've been doing. I've been focused on the school. Finals are finally done. I can start doing my videos. I can start playing more games and just enjoy what I do. I do this as a hobby. I don't really care if I get paid. And some people will say that I'm lying, but technically I'm not lying because I don't even have a 
I don't have an account to collect some money. I can't think of PayPal. I don't even have a PayPal account, guys. So I just do this for a hobby. And the pro and the cons, like I said, is you lose skill and you get frustrated, and it's it's just not a pretty sight when you lose all that kind of stuff. And in a sense, it's just not fun when you come back to play it anymore because you just don't have any friends that that play it anymore, you know. So I recommend this, guys. If you're gonna come back from a month's break. Make sure you ask some friends to get on or your buddies or someone that you know. Text them up or call them up or whatnot. And say, hey, let's go play some Mama for a 3. Let's get back into it. Let's, uh, let's start getting the beast mode on. Try hard pants on, you know? So, that's what you can do, right, guys. And if you also want to improve your skill of when you come, when you actually come, come back into the game. Not just to play it once in a while, but want to get serious, like MLG Pro serious. If you want to go that far. But... Just like the basic, what I do is to get back into the groove. I go into like survival mode or something. I just shoot around and just try to get back up my skill because the people won't die right away because they have more health somewhat. So I try to get back with the guns and everything. And then if that doesn't work right off the bat, what I like to do is I like to take myself in a private match and just like shoot around with guns. You know, I mean, sometimes shooting around does help. And then if you get a guy in there, you can do like uh one-on-one -on -one or something something that doesn't really count for your KD and if you're really KD freaks out there you know what I mean by that you don't want to ruin your KD but I guess if you're just really 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 skilled you don't have to worry about it you could take a month's break like some people could take a month's break and not have to worry about coming back and just dropping their KD negative or something you know every game you get negative kills and whatnot but some people are like that MLG pros Actually, I don't really call them MLG, pro, MLG pros because they're not really that professional. Because they could do a lot of better stuff. But that's a different topic. If I, if you want to hear that, leave a comment below. I have a lot of I have a lot of theories about MLG pros and whatnot, and just topics of what I believe about them and whatnot. Well, I guess there's like three minutes left of this video or whatnot. Oh, speaking of which, of a video, um, if you haven't watched. The video of me and cucumber going at it with some zombies the bloopers that's not to that's not to meant to hate on TGN that was just some stuff that happened and it was bloopers and we didn't even try but we thought it was funny as hell and we added the beeps in there if you haven't go check it out I recommend that video it's such a good funny video if you've not have seen that video go check it out links will be in the description or annotation so go check that out guys Final note, I want to say subscribe to TGN. TGN FPS works so hard to do what they do in, on the level that they are rising each and every day and each and every month of how many viewers they get every day and subscribers they reach. So do us a favor, leave a comment, like this video, subscribe. And this is it, guys. We didn't win, unfortunately, but we did pretty do darn good. This is Amstar signing off. Have a nice day. This video has been part of the Way Movement, a career path for YouTubers. To learn more, visit TGN.com.